Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be setting up our VF tuner to start tuning our LX570. Let's go get inside the LX570. You can blow up the universe if you do something wrong. Okay, got it. If you have a local shop that's familiar with VF tuner, you can take this to them and they can tune it for you. Or if they already have a VF tuner set up, you probably don't need to buy all this yourself and do this and go through it. I'm just doing it to learn so that I can share the experience with you guys in case you want to go through the same thing yourself. If you guys watched the last video, I already have a uh, tune on this truck. Now, most of you are gonna think I'm pretty stupid right now, uh, and maybe I am. First thing you wanna do is install the VF Tuner software. If you go to their website, there's a uh, section where you can download it, get it installed, install the drivers for the Y Flash device. That's this guy right here. And then once you get all that installed, configured, the next step is to register your device. In order to do that, Get it plugged into the USB on that side and on this side. Open the VF Tuner software and I already registered mine, but what you'll see as soon as that pops up, you'll see a prompt that says you need to register your device and it shows you a serial number. You take that serial number and you email it to the email address that's in the prompt that pops up on the screen and they'll respond back for me. It was maybe about 30 minutes, pretty quick. They responded back and they said, okay, thumbs up, you're ready to go. Then the next time you open up the software, it'll go straight into the software and it won't give you that prompt and you'll be good to go to start using the actual device. Then the next thing you need to do is register your vehicle's ECU ID. And I'll show you how to get that here in a minute. Now the software is up. Since mine's registered, it's working and everything. As long as you're connected to the internet and your device has been registered, it'll pop up with what you see here. It's the software, and once you get it to this point, the next thing you need to do is register your vehicle's ECU ID. And in order to do that, we gotta connect this device right here to the vehicle's OBD2 port and run through the steps to grab the ECU ID. And then again, you email that to the email address for support. They register your ECU ID. I'm gonna show you what to do here before we go out to the vehicle. So you wanna click on this little box that says Y Flasher. You wanna make sure that right here, you have the COM port selected with your VF Tuner Y Flash device. And you wanna make sure that log connection to file right here is checked. Now, once you do that, come up here to this drop-down box and you've got a few different choices depending on which Y Flash device you bought and how it's registered. Um, I'm using this just on my Toyota. So these are the options that I have available to me. And if you have your Y Flash device registered to cover other vehicles, they should pop up here as well. In my case, I'm gonna select Toyota Gen 2. Then the next part of the instructions here say to uh, plug in the connector to your vehicle's OBD2 connector turn on your car's ignition, turn off everything electronic like the AC lights, close your doors, uh, make sure the engine is off and not idling, but your ignition is on. Um, if you have a push button start on your vehicle, that means do not hold the brake, but press the ignition start button so that everything turns on, but the vehicle is not running. And uh, make sure your battery is fully charged, uh, obviously. Um, then you wait 15 to 20 seconds, as you see right here. And then you click on the button that says prepare ECU, that button right there, which is this guy right there. You hit the prepare ECU button and it'll pop up with this message right here. Then it's going to show you your ECU details and the screen right there. You'll highlight it, right click and hit copy. And once you do that, you email that over to their support email, support at ovtune.zendesk.com. And uh, in the title, you put in your order number, your vehicle information, so your year, make, model, and then paste all of this in the body of the email and tell them what kind of vehicle and motor that you have. If they reply to you, as long as everything's good to go, you should see this option B here, and they'll inform you that you can start tuning your vehicle. And from there, you can either do a flash tune, one of the pre-made pre, uh, uploaded tunes that they have if you've purchased one, or you can access your factory tune and start your tuning. 
Let's go out to the garage and get that part done. Now I'm over here in the garage. Let's go get inside the LX570. I don't know if you can see it right down there. Plugged into the OBD2 port. Get it plugged into my USB port and then open up the VF tuner software. VF tuner software is open. Now what you want to do, don't hit the brakes. So keep your foot off the brake pedal and hit the start button twice. One time, puts it in accessory mode. Second time, turns on the ignition. Turn your AC off. Make sure the rear AC is off. Turn off the seat coolers or the seat heaters if they're on auto and they're turning on. Oof, it's hot in here. Now we want to open up the VF tuner. We want to make sure that this is selected correctly and that box is checked to log the connection. We're going to select Toyota Gen 2. And we're going to click on Prepare ECU. All right, logging is started. Hit OK. Take this, highlight it, and copy. Now we want to take that information and put it in an email and send it over to the VF Tuner team. While I'm waiting for the VF Tune support team to respond back, what I want to do is go in here and see if the uh, ECU calibration file is already in the folder, uh, the installation folder, because there's a bunch of them in there, or if they have to send me a custom one. So just go up to File and hit Open. Go to your root, your C drive, go to Program Files x86, find VF Tuner, go to Supported Vehicles. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to go to Lexus. Oh, they got an LX570. Now there's several of them in here. My ECU ID was 360T110. So if you take that front three out and the two, two zeros on the end out, that's your actual ECU type, your calibration file. So mine would be 60T11. Um... There it is, 60T11. So they've got that one already in here to support my ECU. Let's see if I can open it. Software's for professional automotive calibration use. You can blow up the universe if you do something wrong. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. It's already in here. Let's see what kind of controls we have. You got your accelerator pedal, probably a lot of the settings around that, what it does, air charge, fuel, base idle spark, closed loop operation, your drivetrain controls, this entire engine category, what is that, limiters, load control, fuel delivery, those are all the load compensations. Trim, idle, idle control, spark. It's interesting. There's a lot of stuff in here. Mass airflow, oxygen sensor, ignition control, temperature models. I'm assuming those are trims for different temperature. Expect oh, that's for the catalyst temperature. Uh, throttle faults, translation per gear, okay. Valve timing. Oh, that's nice. You can control the variable valve timing. Intake and exhaust. Transmission shifting, when cold, when warm. This is the, this looks like just about all the parameters, if not all of them. Pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm not gonna mess with any of this. I just wanted to see if the base file is actually in here or not. So we've got this. I'm going to wait for them to respond and we'll be back. We're back in the truck here. The support from OB Tune, VF Tuner, uh, very quick to respond. Half hour, and I submitted that ticket at nighttime, or whatever time it is right now. It's like 9.15. Um, they responded, they got it all registered, I'm ready to go. They pointed me to the correct calibration file, same one I was showing you just a second ago. So now I'm back in the truck, I'm plugged into the OBD2 port. And if you guys watched the last video, I already have a 
uh, tune on this truck that we got. We did a bunch of testing before and after, measured the power gains, where in the um, power band, the RPM band, the power gains were. Got tons of data in that previous video. I'll link it down in the description below. Really cool to watch if you're interested in what a um, pre-tuned flash can do on the LX570 and the uh, and the Land Cruiser 200 series with a 5.7 liter V8. Now, most of you are going to think I'm pretty stupid right now, uh, and maybe I am, but that tune cost me a few hundred bucks. I did it really just to see what that tune can do on a 100% completely stock truck, and now I'm about to flash back to the stock setup. Uh, I tried to do read ECU to see if I can read that tune and just save it in case I wanted to go back to that OTT tune that Lone Star Yoda tuning uh, applied for me. It's locked somehow. Um, it gives me an error when I try to read uh, the, the ECU and, and grab the existing tune. So I can't do that. It's okay. No big deal. Um, I'm out a few hundred bucks and hopefully that video is helpful and entertaining to some of you guys again link will be down in the description if you want to go view that now what we're going to do is flash the calibration file um, that comes with the vf tuner software and you got to find the one for your particular ecu and that is this guy right here 60t11 that is the calibration file with the correct ecu id so what we're going to do here i got that uh, uploaded we are going to prepare ECU, hit OK, select the Toyota Gen 2. Did I do that correctly? Repair ECU again, I guess. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I guess you got to select this first, the drop down, then prepare ECU. Now prepare ECU is grayed out, so that means we're good to go. And we've got our ECU ID right here. And we can confirm that if you look right there, 60T11. And our calibration file is 60T11. So that's the right one. Now we're going to cross our fingers. Pray to God that this works and it doesn't brick <laughs> the truck. And we're going to flash the base calibration file. So wish me luck here click okay hit okay flash option if your vehicle is 2018 tundra uh blah 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 gen 2 land cruiser or other gen 2 can press okay uh lexus turbo blah blah, blah press cancel button okay so we are good to go there because we are a land cruiser ish All right, we'll hit OK once more. I have some lights and beeps on the dash up here. Let's see what's it saying. LDA malfunction, dealer inspection. It's just going through a whole bunch of resets. And here on the screen, if we can focus, ECU unlocked and erased. Writing data begin. Data writing, do not plug. So during this process, all of the instructions made it pretty clear. Every single bit of electronics that you can turn off in your vehicle, you need to turn off. Turn off your air conditioning, all of the fans, the seat coolers, close the doors, make sure the overhead lights are off, make sure your automatic headlights are turned to the off position. And uh, sit still, don't wiggle the OBD wire or the usb wire around just in case there's a loose connection make sure you're doing everything you possibly can to not interrupt this process now if you look up here there's all sorts of errors coming and going all sorts of malfunctions and errors i'm assuming this is part of the process oh i just heard some electric motor or something come on and off might have been the fuel pump i don't know all these things coming on. Every error known to man for an LX570. This is still going. No errors yet. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Okay. Come 
complete. Logging finished. Let me move this little window. What's the message is right behind it? No errors. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. Programming complete. Please turn the vehicle off and then start the vehicle. Okay. So right now, I've still got all these errors flashing up here, one by one. Uh, I'm going to give it about 30 seconds, and then we'll start it, just in case there's some other thing that happens as far as the ECU rebooting or anything like that. I'm going to give it a few seconds, and then we'll start the truck. Let's go ahead and start it. Hold the brakes, hit the start button. Okay, that just cranked and cranked. Nothing started. Let's try one more time. I guess now it's off. Technically, I didn't really turn it off, huh? I should have turned off the ignition first and then started it. Okay, so now the ignition's off. Let's start it. There we go. So anyway, at this point, we've got the factory tune flashed back on this guy. I'm so amazed that VF Tuner has the factory calibration tune for the 2016 to 2021 LX570s already preloaded on their software. That's awesome. That's really good. So that, that gives you a place to start. I did also ask them if they have any uh, pre-tuned maps that I can purchase from VF Tuner. Uh, they do have the pre-tuned maps for the various Tundras. Um, so for a stock Tundra uh, with a tuned map, kind of like the OTT tune that we just got, they also have the uh, pre-tuned map for a stock Tundra with a supercharger and also a base map for a Tundra with a supercharger. But in this case, they didn't have one for the ECUID for the LX570. Now, that doesn't mean that the tune would be very different from the Tundra. I don't know if you could flash the Tundra tune to an LX570. I don't think you can because there's a lot of other parameters on here. There's an all-wheel drive transmission uh, and drivetrain tune is going to be different than a Tundra. Shift points are going to be different. All those things are going to be different. Gearing's different. Uh, so I wouldn't do that personally. If you want to try it, go for it. I wouldn't do that. Uh, in this case, all we have available to us is the base calibration map, which is essentially a stock uh, tune that is uh, provided by VF Tuner that you can use as a base point to then start tuning. So you flash that uh, base tune at 60T11, you flash that, and then from there you have a basis to start your tuning from there. Um, now that we're at this point, you're, you're at the very start of your journey and you can start tuning. Or if you have a local shop that's familiar with VF Tuner, you can take this to them and they can tune it for you. Or if they already have a VF Tuner set up, you probably don't need to buy all this yourself and do this and go through it. I'm just doing it to learn so that I can share the experience with you guys in case you wanna go through the same thing yourself. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help and provide feedback. In the meantime, I love you guys. God bless. Good night and see you next time.